How's it going guys? So I'm here today, um, gonna go over everything I've done to my Toyota Tacoma 2016 TRD Sport. Um, so I have pretty much all the premium options. I had the JBL system, I have leather seats, heated cooling, um, four wheel drive, pretty much everything. And so I just wanna go over the basics of everything I've done to it and trying to turn it into a SEMA build. So first off, I wanna start in here cause it's kinda of windy outside and also it allows me to go over everything I've done interior wise. Interior wise, I haven't done that much. I've upgraded to a new head unit, the new Kenwood. This cost me roughly like $1,200 for this new head unit. And then obviously you can't see them because the door panels, but I put new Rockford speakers in all the doors and then working on finishing all the audio. So I picked up two of these DD uh, four, four by 100. Try to remember correctly. Yeah, four channels, 100 watts per channel. So these are going to power the interior speakers, and then also that's going to power the subwoofers when we decide to um, upgrade those. And then on top of that, we need to get another one of these still for the tower speakers. And that's pretty much everything I've done on the interior. What I want to do is for the headliner, what I want to do is all of this. I pretty much want to put a starlight, uh, kind of like the Rolls Royce starlight headliner. That's one of my goals that I want to do. And so once everything's done up there and sound wise, then mainly everything's probably going to be an exterior. Um, other things I want to do on the inside is kind of do custom diamond stitching seats and then probably some floor mats and maybe some extra things down the line. But that's pretty much the interior for right now. There's not that much done interior wise, just audio stuff realistically. And then as we move to the exterior, it's kind of windy. So right now I'm rocking some Rockstar wheels. We just painted these. Is, yeah, why not? So we painted those. It's on some Wrangler 35. 20 and a half are 20s and the wheels are 20 by 10s and then for the lift kit i'm rocking a six inch rough country lift kit one thing to notice is it does rub right here you can obviously see i'm not too worried about it it does rub sometimes when i turn but like i said i'm not too worried and then for step up bars i have the nfab that came on the truck it has this three steps I personally like them. I don't know if I want to keep or get some hideaway steps. Um, yeah, I haven't really decided on that. And then obviously, I gotta do some paint work. Like, one thing I would notice is I took off my exhaust and I put it in the bed. Even with the long bed, it's still scraping. So I gotta figure out a way to go over that and fix it. I wanna repaint the truck also, try and get it pretty much back to what it was originally. And then as we move over here, you'll see I have the MBRP exhaust. Some of the stuff's coming off, um, pretty much the protective stuff. But I put the new exhaust on, it sounds amazing. I would recommend it, I personally like it. The only thing I would notice, um, note, is that it is kind of hard to install by yourself. I did it, but I would just keep that in mind. It's hard doing it by yourself. So if you have someone that could help you, I would definitely do that. And then as we move over here, you can see it's kind of dirty and stuff, but I have my rock lights. So I have eight of them. I have one at each wheel well, and then four on the underbody. They're all evenly spaced out. They're all measured and everything done proper. So that way, pretty much everything would make sure that it was even, it looked, uh, clean and everything so I didn't want nothing sticking out too crazy um, so pretty much what I wanted to do is I wanted to get the underglow to kind of give it that aesthetic because not a lot of people here have underglow so I wanted to be unique and then so with doing that I feel like it did more people are starting to get rock lights now so what I did is I went and I did my headlights so I did those I from Clears Manufacturing, they sent me some over the clear ones. 
I'll keep in mind if you're trying to do headlights on your own, I still may get new headlights to do it again. Like you can see right here, it cracked a little. But then you have the circular ring. We painted the inside black, which is kind of hard to see, but it looks good at night. You'll be able to see it. The only thing I don't like about it is the daylight running lights. So like right here at the very bottom, that's usually on. You have to control that through your phone because that's also like an extra, you could pay for it, you don't need it. So I changed that out so it does that and the ring light, well, circular light. And so I like it. It was one of my favorite mods that I did. It just was a pain to actually take the headlight apart and do. Um, I have, I don't have my keys with me, but inside I have a Canon Cold Air Intake which I really love. It's one of my favorites. I would recommend it to everyone. And then I definitely need to get new tires. Um, these are starting to go down on tread by a lot, especially on the insides. Like you can see, it's pretty much going down to nothing. And that's also probably because due to the rubbing and everything. But like I said, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, the remainder of goals that I want to do is I want to lift it. So I want to put a 12 inch bulletproof lift on it. And then after that's done, I want to be able to put some 24 by 14s on probably like 40s. So that way, I think it would give it a good stance personally. I think with how it's sitting right now, if lifted a little bit higher, because it's not a full like leveling kit, it's a full six inch lift kit. So it has that little dip in the front and then like I said before, I don't know if I want to do some hideaway steps or uh, keep these NFAB steps. So if any of the stuff I'm getting rid of and you guys want and you want to buy them off of me, let me know. And then I'll come back here so that way you, you can see like this is all the stuff I have on the truck. So k and Rockford, Adrenaline Off-Road, Rough Country, Clears Manufacturing, MBRP. And then as we come to this side, you'll see the team I'm part of the Skynet team. It's an amazing team. I'm in the Air Force and then Stitch Heads for the audio. They do, do an amazing job. And then Snapchat logo and Instagram for promotional stuff, obviously. And then for the rear, I have 5% tint and in the front 10%. Nothing on the front windshield. The back windshield, I have a uh, 5% tint also. So I'll head inside the truck so that way you can actually see how it looks with the tint. Personally, I like how I did it with the 5% in the rear and 10 in the front. Because I just feel as though it it's hard to see kind of at night. That's why I feel like with the 10%, it's not too much. But the 5% is really hard to see. So if you see now, like, I don't know if the camera does it justice. You can see that with the 10%, it's darker in person. Compared to the standard like no tint, you can definitely tell a difference. And then as you move from 10% to the 5%, you can definitely tell a difference. And it's harder to see. I personally like it at the back also. I just feel like if someone's high beaming or something, trying to be, a, you know, one of those people, it won't really bother me. Bother me to do. So I want to wrap the truck. I want to do a Venom wrap with some cherry red accents on pretty much all the components so like the suspension and maybe some odds and ends the grill I want to do a DB customs grill um, so I've been talking to them hopefully we can figure something out and get that situated other stuff it's more or less just gonna be exterior for the rest of it interior is gonna be the final like cuz no one's gonna be in here really looking at the interior but like I said diamond stitching Audio's hopefully finished in a month or two. Once that's done, doing some, I don't know if I wanna go with WeatherTech mats cause I've had them in all my other vehicles and I love them. So either doing some WeatherTech mats or trying to get some diamond stitched floor mats. Um, I may do some, like if you look here, you'll see it kinda has, to me it's like a more of a reddish kinda orange, not just like one standard color. And so I don't know if I wanna redo all of this and then also all of this and do it one solid color and do it all cherry red to max uh, match the outside i think it personally would look good i could be wrong and that's what trial and error is for you do some stuff and you learn from that mistakes 
that's like what I learned with the, the headlights. I learned some stuff from it and then some stuff that was negative, some stuff that was positive. It's just all learning experience. Other stuff that I want to do is probably just get it lifted, wheels, tires, more rock lights personally. I feel as though, yes, it's bright, but I'd rather get a more full range around the entire truck. So I may add a few more, maybe another eight piece kit, just do 16 total. Nothing too crazy, which a lot of you are gonna say 16 is crazy already. But to me, after you run an eight piece for a while, you just feel as though it's not enough. Like it doesn't cover everything. Even though the company that I got them through, it I think has one of the best rock lights out there, brightest and everything. I just feel like a 16 or even like a 12 would do me justice. The one thing that sucks about these roads also where I'm living is it's kind of hard to see. But down here I got the crack going across. You may be able to see it right here on that side. So the roads here kind of suck. So I got to replace the windshield also. Um, just things keep adding up for the interior. Also, I forgot to mention I have some I'm Trying to think of the company I did it, but pretty much because I have the truck off you can't really see it, but I have The interior glow for under my feet at all the seats in the back and the front I personally like it especially if I drop something I can actually visually see it instead of it being dark down there But one of my top recommendations would be this head unit out of everything I've personally done to the truck if you have the standard like Tacoma head unit, if you really want to go and get Apple CarPlay, stuff that can, you can really adjust the audio to and fine tune everything, the Kenwood deck, the new one, it's like $1,200. I know it's a lot for some people, but this deck, I swear, it's, it's honestly one of the best decks I've honestly spent money on, and I would recommend it to everyone. So this pretty much wraps up the video. I probably missed some stuff and some stuff I probably uh, answered and just constantly kept repeating but I just don't want to forget anything and I wanted to be able to show everyone what's done to it what I want to do to it so that way they can visually see what my truck looks like now compared to how it's gonna look in the future and hopefully I can bring you guys along with this trip and hopefully we can all finish it together and see the outcome and hopefully see some of you guys at events and hopefully just build kind of like a family it's a the coma world's a huge place uh, a lot of people a lot of different like off-roading and not that many as kind of stance and as everyone likes to say pavement princesses i'm still gonna off-road it and still do crazy stuff with it even when it's lifted and the wide wheels and tires it's honestly people want to talk but it's honestly about what you do so i'm still gonna do everything but I want to thank you all for watching. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And it really means a lot that you guys want to see these videos. I'm going to try and bring out more stuff as we do the audio. We're still getting some equipment. But once it's complete, I will get that video to you guys. And so that way you can actually see having the JBL system, how to bypass some of the stuff and everything we're doing. And pretty much just how much it costs to do some of the stuff I'm doing and how much time it takes because none of this stuff is happening overnight. So once again, I want to thank you all for watching and have a blessed day.